What is a brand? Is it just a nice name or is it a cool logo? Or is it about much more than that? These days, we're surrounded by brands everywhere we go. When we're walking down the street, billboards are crying out for our attention. When we're watching TV, the ads are dominated by big brands. And when we're browsing the web, brands dominate there too. Think of a brand you've come across recently. Where did you see that brand? What did you think of it? What did you feel about it? Is it weird to have feelings about a brand? Do people get emotional about brands or do they buy based on rational things like price alone? Do you have a favourite brand? What's so good about it? Have a think about the interactions you had with the business behind that brand. If you dealt with people from that business, how did they deal with you? Were they helpful? Did the way they behaved reinforce the brand or take away from it? And think of a branded product you might have bought recently. Maybe it's a gadget or maybe it's some clothes. What was that shopping experience like? And why did you buy that particular brand? How did you feel when you got it? And how visible is the brand on the product? Is it something you hide or something you show? Did you tell other people about what you bought? How did they react when they heard the brand? How important is branding anyway? Why do big companies spend so much money on their branding? And when it comes to your own business, what are you going to do about branding it? Are you going to think of a cool name? Are you going to design a great logo? Should the name be descriptive or just quirky? Should you think about your potential customers when you're building your brand? Or do you and your team know best already and is thinking about your customers a waste of time? And when you get a brand in place, will it just be something you stick in your packaging? Or will you put it on all your stationery? Will you even try to think about ways to behave with customers that will reinforce the brand? And how will you spread the word about your brand? Will you approach customers directly? Or will you advertise? If you do advertise, where will you do it? And how much will it cost? And are there any ways you might get free publicity? Getting your brand right is one of the most important aspects of getting customers to buy from you. How will you build your brand? Branding your business is about much more than simply coming up with a catchy name and a snazzy logo. It's even about much more than marketing your product or service. Your brand will define what people will think of your business and what they feel about it. It will be the first thing they see and first impressions count. Getting your brand right will help your business succeed and it's especially important if your product or service has lots of competitors. Great branding and even great packaging will help you stand out from the crowd. Before you rush off and try to come up with a cool name for your business, it's a good idea to stop and think about what you're actually achieving for your customers. What problem are you helping them to solve? It can be useful to link your business name with what your customers see you as doing. But this doesn't have to be the case. Remember, you can always use a tagline that says a little more about what your business does. Your brand will affect the way your customers respond to your business. And if you get it right, it will encourage them to be loyal to your business too. Apple have been very successful at this because their customers believe so strongly in their cool, great design brand that they often tell other people about it. And word of mouth is one of the best kinds of advertising. Well, Fuchsia is Ireland's first brand of, of makeup and cosmetics and we sell absolutely everything that a woman needs for her face from a really good skincare line to over 700 products for the face alone. The great thing about this brand is that we stock something for everybody. If it's um, the teenager who's just spending her babysitting money, right through to women in their 40s who have a lot of disposable income. What would make us different almost than, than the norm is, uh, we definitely see ourselves in the service industry. Drogheda has chemists and pharmacies and um, areas in which makeup is sold, but there's nothing like us. There's nowhere where you can come in and get your makeup done. There's nowhere where you can get a makeup lesson get your makeup done for your wedding, your hen night. There's just endless amount of things that we do that's completely different to, to the norm, basically. When your customer sees your brand, they're going to have all sorts of expectations around it, and you have to live up to those expectations too. And if you let them down, it could damage your brand permanently.
The brand you decide on must be visible everywhere your customers interact with your business, and your whole team has to believe in it too. There's no good positioning yourself as a luxury supplier if your stationery looks cheap and your team aren't friendly with customers. So identify your strengths and figure out what you achieve for your customers. Then use that knowledge to come up with a brand that fits. The market research techniques covered in the workbook will help you profile your customers. Use this research to find out as much as you can about them. Who are they? Where do they come from? What are they looking for? What makes them buy things? What do they like and dislike? Get your whole team involved too. What do you all feel about the business? Do you want to work in a luxury product or maybe sell with a pile them high and sell them cheap kind of attitude? Try not to let the whole thing get too complicated. Pick a business name that suits what you do and come up with a logo to match it. Then once you've decided on a brand, it needs to be consistent everywhere. From your business cards, to how you dress, to how you behave with customers. And branding is especially important when it comes to packaging. If you come up with a creative new way of packaging your product, then people will remember it and tell others about it too. Direct marketing is a great way of boosting sales, and your branding needs to be at the heart of it. Direct marketing is all about you going directly to customers, without anyone or anything else in between. This can take loads of different forms. You might ring up a potential customer out of the blue and tell them how your business can help them. This is called cold calling. Or you might distribute leaflets directly to potential customers. If you go down that route, it's a good idea to include a call to action in your leaflet. Something along the lines of order now. Remember, your brand has to be at the heart of your direct marketing. Your leaflet has to show your brand and logo, and the whole design of it has to reflect your brand values. Another good way to get people interested in your product or service is to run sales promotions. You might offer a discount to new customers, or you might give away free samples. If you do give away free samples, then people will feel like you've done them a favor, and hopefully they'll come back to buy the real thing. If you're trying to reach a wide audience, then it might be worthwhile thinking about advertising. This can be expensive though, and you should make sure that you're using the right kind for your business. There's not much point in advertising in the Irish Times if you're selling a board game aimed at local primary school children. There are a lot of options online for ads these days too. You could use Google Ads to advertise your product only to people who search for certain words, and you'll only have to pay Google when people actually click on your ads. Just like leaflets in direct marketing flyers, your ads should include a call to action for customers. Give them a reason to buy from you. Sometimes the best kind of publicity is free. If you send a press release out to the media, you could get coverage in the local press and maybe even national TV. This could save you a lot of money, because otherwise you'd have to spend a fortune to buy that kind of exposure. Getting your brand right and spending time making sure you apply it consistently in everything you do will help make your business a success. The right brand will help you attract customers and keep those you already have. Your brand will immediately tell your customers what your business stands for. This will give them an emotional connection to your brand that will encourage them to stay loyal. And if you get your branding right, your customers will help you market your product or service by spreading the word about it. But remember, if you let your customers down, they won't forgive you too quickly. That means your whole team has to stick to the spirit of the brand in everything they do in your business. And your brand must be present in everything a customer does with your business too, especially when you're in direct contact with them. If you're advertising, you'll want to make sure your brand name and logo are shown properly. But advertising can be expensive, so see if you can get free publicity in the media instead. And don't forget that your stand at the Student Enterprise Awards is another opportunity to build your brand and target customers. So it's well worth spending time making sure that's impressive too. It's never too late to impress the judges and attract more customers.